Hi folks, Carl James here from Electric Media Madness and it's been a bit of a family and friends Star Wars day today uh, after a few false starts um, we've finally watched episode 9 of Star Wars the, the fall of Skywalker <laughs> say the rise of Skywalker yeah. um, so we'll, we'll just jump into it and see how this goes this is my nephew by the way, Di uh, Daniel Ryan, and his friend Finn. I'd so anyway, I've got some notes here, I'll just keep uh, referring to them as we go along, but does anybody want to just start off with anything? But why don't we just start with what we think first of all? What? I hate yeah. that ending. <laughs> I think it's awful. Yeah, I completely agree with that. I also hated the ending. I felt like those final lines made a lot of the hurt race development sort of redundant. But overall, I actually really, I actually enjoyed it. It did have some plot holes, but that sort of still it still made it well. Uh, it, was, it was still an like, enjoyable movie overall, but a, a lot of spoilers obviously here. Yes, that's a, a good a point. Lot, we need to, lot, like, I need to say that spoilers. Spoiler alert! <laughs> spoiler alert! A lot of spoilers here. Um, I am Skywalker. I thought that was a poor ending, and nothing was really that explained on what they were going to do after. After the fall of the first order and the final, the final order, Palpatine, I felt like that was a little bit. Yeah, but that was never explained before. It yeah, just that's a good point. Ending. Actually, we never really ever find out where the where the first order came from in the first place. Really, we just assume that they were sort of like came out of the ashes of the Empire. But in that short space of time, how they managed to build up that massive fleet and all that. So, I mean, I, I know where you're coming from. I do understand where you're coming from. It'd I just nice thought, to I want some conclusion yeah, yeah. to a saga. Yeah. I want, I, I want to feel satisfied when I walk out, and I didn't really feel as satisfied as what I would have if it was a bit more refined. That's why you got the same ending as like 40 years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beginning, end, the exact same. Yeah. yeah. So, I, I think really what we'll start with is, because uh, one of the things that, we'll, we'll come to our opinions and sort of overall ratings, where we would place it in, in the whole sort of, nine Star Wars films and probably give it a rating out to ten as well at the end, we'll do that at the end, but um, I've actually seen the film twice, um, I watched it last night and I watched it again today with everybody, so um, because I really wanted to get as many detailed notes as I possibly could, um, so I've just really one of the things that stuck out to me was bad plotting. The film, I do like the film, it's not a bad film, I wouldn't say that it's an amazing film at all, in the slightest, but it's if nothing else, it's definitely better than the Last Jedi. I was, oh yeah, I was, I was, I was <laughs> yeah. it's definitely better than the Last Jedi. Uh, but it's it really is all over the place in terms of uh, that it's frenetic, and that is typical of J.J. Abrams. I am going to talk about J.J. Abrams and Disney in some of my other videos. I'm not going to get into it now, but my my love affair with Star Wars died in 2015 when they sold it to Disney because of the research I did and what I found out about Disney and extension JJ Abrams as well so I've got there's no real love loss for me but I, I was pleasantly surprised actually um, still JJ Abrams still does this thing crazy all over the place everything moves that fast that you can't you don't get a chance to try and sort of stop and think about these big I thought, plot holes in the story yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it felt like two films like they were trying to compensate for the bad one by just adding yeah. another one in. I definitely feel that that was okay. I think the first act was just like all over, yeah, just yeah. so many shots, yeah. different shots and different I places. I think because, um, like us, there's a lot of people out there who are very unhappy about the direction that Disney Star Wars has taken, and especially with what Ryan Johnson did to The Last Jedi, and I, and I do feel that to some degree, how successful they were is, is you know, is everybody's opinion basically, but I do think they definitely tried to put things right with this. Oh, I think that I think they tried to put some things right. Yeah, a little too much, I think. A bit too much. Yeah. They probably could have made two films out of it actually mm. yeah, easily. Yeah, like you say two films. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there there were some justifications from the uh, from this movie going back to the other movies. I felt like they fixed Kylo Ren's character, Ray, some somewhat a bit better here compared to the uh, to the first two in this trilogy. Um, I really like what they did with Kylo Ren's character. I really liked his his redemption arc, if, if you could say. 
Um, there's some pretty well shot scenes. Um, Leia was good. I felt like Rose and some other side characters were also handled very well, especially in comparison to The Last Jedi, where I thought that Rose was a little bit focused on too much. But then again, you could argue that Rose was barely in this one. Exactly. Right. Great. 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 Right. Is, that, is that the way they solved it? You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> five minutes yeah. of screen time. You know? Let's do that. I mean, I don't want to hate on uh, Kelly Marie Tran as an actress because. Um, it's um, not her fault. It's the yeah, material she yeah. had to work with, you know, and that could be the same said for. I mean, that's something that I would actually say about um, uh, Daisy Ridley and Adam Driver and that. that uh, given what they've had to work with, especially in this one, actually, I think they did a pretty good job of it. I think they, yeah. they, they came across. Ray definitely came across far less of a Mary Sue. Oh yeah, I got completely. I mean, still, she's still got all these almighty force yeah, yeah, powers. She's like God now, I've got a list of Amirium <laughs> notes. Force teleportation. Um, what was it force the he the uh, healing? You know, yeah, force healing. Let's go. Force resurrection. Um, yeah, it just goes on and on and on. So where where all this came from? But they did say in it that they were the the force dyad, the most powerful thing that had come along for a long time. Yeah. And, Bit of a plot convenience that yeah, was, but quite, quite quite typical bit. Disney Star Wars that is. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, a couple of things that I wanted to go through really. I'll just quickly whiz through this list, but this is just things that I noted. Bad plotting. Ray um, just happens to find the Sith dagger sticking out the sand. It's yeah, the exact yeah. same thing that Luke and Lando were looking for for about thirty years, and they didn't seem to find it. But yeah. she finds yeah. it just like She's that. She's perfect. So, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> Uh, the convenience of the map and the explanation on the dagger. Who went out of their way to inscribe it with the location of the Death Star and that? I mean, it's if they, right, if they right, moved that dagger. from the Death Star, then yeah. the dagger would be completely redundant then. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you noticed, I don't know how long it's been since you've seen the Goonies, but that was a complete rip-off of the Goonies. You know, they stand on the cliff and they've got that relic and they match it up to the horizon yeah. to see where the landscape is. And I felt like yeah. going, hey you guys! And sort of like, you know, slump. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that was, yeah, I did notice that. Um, the question of how much wreckage would have been left after the Death Star, true, true. Uh, seeing as it was pretty much obliterated. Um, why didn't the impact of the, I'm getting into my nerddom now, why didn't the impact of all that Death Star bit cr Damage, massive ecological damage and environmental damage on the planet that they're on. You could argue that the waves was part of that, but you know, uh, finding the wayfinders very convenient. Uh, they just seem to keep just find them just like that, you know, and then they're gone again, and then they, you know, uh, Ray finding in that one in Act Two in the wreckage of um, uh, Kylo Ren's Tie Fighter. You know, Luke says, oh, everything you need is here, and then he pulls the X-wing fighter out, the, you know, so she can get off the planet straight away. It's all plot McGuffins, real sort of convenience things you know sort of. Something I want to say right is I really didn't like that scene where <laughs> Ray just casually walks away from everybody sort of stands there watches Kylo Ren fly out <laughs> jumps hits it <laughs> and then because of her stupidity it causes Chewbacca to get captured. But even worse than that next scene even worse than that I'm sorry Chewbacca was on that ship, and he should have died. It, it certainly appeared as though he was on that ship, and then all of a sudden it turned out it that he wasn't. wasn't. But I, what I understand, um, I'm going to give a shout out for people like uh, Nerd Rotic and, and uh, Doomcock, Hell Doomcock, on YouTube, because they've been covering. I mean, there's there's plenty of great YouTube channels that have been covering this for a long, long time. Um, but the edits, uh, the screening screenings and it was abysmal in terms of audience appreciation so they edited it now I think I would imagine that Chewbacca probably possibly might have died at one point in it and they've edited it yeah well, and they did it last just, minute oh. last minute and that's why it wasn't think, really kind of explained why delay it just it was in that ship I think he minutes. had to survive because if, he if had, they killed off many more characters they would have been up well right? honestly <laughs> when when Leia dies the only like sad bit is when you see Chewbacca and it really hits oh, yeah. him, like he's that, lost everyone That else. was emotional, yeah. But, but how did he react when Han Solo died in The Force Awakens? Ah! Yeah, 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 But he actually yeah. like, he cries yeah. in this. And I think you wouldn't, have felt, page. you wouldn't have felt any emotion from Leia dying, really. Not, no, not, the, not, not as to much. the level of yeah. Han Solo, definitely not, you know. And I actually thought he reacted more than Han, than Han yeah. well, I could remember it, but it's been a while he did, since he, I've seen that. Well, I, I watched it yesterday, oh, and right, he right, did react more. Did it? Like, he, oh, he right. like, well, he basically collapses in the new mm. film. And that's a good point, actually, as well, we're saying about Han Solo. I actually think that 
uh, Harrison Ford did a better job in that five minutes of Han Solo than he has did in The Force Awakens. <laughs> in the whole Force Awakens. That, that scene was better than his actual pretty, death scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty good scene between those. And Kylo again, I think Han. that was only done Han. just as a fan service. Just yeah, most of the film was fan service. Yeah, because people complained that the, you know there wasn't enough of the original trilogy characters mm. in the you know in the films. So. Because Harrison Ford said he would never come back and do it again. I was really so, surprised yeah, to see yeah. anyone. And it was original footage that wasn't shot yeah. from before, and they, you know, it was it was definitely um, uh, shot for the film. Yeah. Yes. So uh, just a couple of other things. Um, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So she goes to Acto. She wants to be a hermit like Luke in the Last Jedi, but then changes her mind two minutes later. <laughs> that didn't last very long. Yeah. Um, yeah. Power Ranger, Bounty Hunter Girl, I can't remember her name, the one with the pink helmet. Didn't do much yeah. of her. Uh, gives a free pass there. to get onto the Star Destroyer to pose. Just happens <laughs> oh, to have one. <laughs> you know, oh, there you go, you need this right. to do what you F need to first do. First thing you see with her, she's going to kill him. She's very, she's not happy. She's, I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to shoot you. Ten minutes like, oh! You want to come with me? Uh, Did you see well, that yeah, bit yeah, yeah, the yeah. But there's fem like, feminine yeah. uh, uh, affirmation there because there was that scene where she says, I know you, I'm paraphrasing her, uh, uh, I know you don't care, uh, um, I care, she says to her. So, you know, it's all like, uh, sisters, I do it. Sorry. <laughs> so, you know, one minute she wants to kill him, next minute she loves him. I thought that was a little <laughs> bit. He loves her. Because, do you see at the end where he's like, mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, but but like. but but she she also asked him if she could go with him. Sorry, if she could go, if, if he could go with her. I think sorry. that was yeah, more yeah. than the, of, her, of wanting him to survive than wanting to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't, but, he wouldn't but, go. Would he? Yeah, but they still cares. So, yeah, but yeah. she still cares about him. Yeah, but a not, bit, a bit not more than like, I'm going to shoot you, like. Well, like, you know, I don't love you, but I don't uh, want you to die. Like <laughs> okay, well, that is true. That is, yeah, true, true, true. But at the same time, you don't, you don't want to shoot me in the head. <laughs> I don't want you to die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I sort of felt like her character, they could have developed a bit more. So maybe a tad mm. more. Yeah. Um, so a couple of other things was, um, we, did, we did talk about this actually, it was about the layer. Uh, layer. That's the English in me. Leia um, using the force to forestall Kylo Ren. Then Ray kills him. Seconds later, she brings him back to life. So was that intended to bring back Solo, uh, Ben Solo back to the life? It's not really explained in any dialogue in the film. Um, you assume that Le Leia had done it to give him a chance to. But then why did she? But then of course you could say, well, she's Palpatine and she's got the evil in her and blah blah. But it kind of. They, I did notice there was actually no dialogue confirming that one way or the other in the film. So it's kind of like yeah, your head kind of has to decide for you, sort of thing, rather than the yeah. actual film telling you what's going on, you know. So my interpretation, my interpretation of it was more so of Leia dies as um, Kylo Ren dies because Kylo Ren, Ben, Ben, more so cared about uh, Leia and didn't really want her to die. That's proof, but in the Last Jedi, where he chooses not to kill her, so I reckon that that when she died, Kylo died with her, and that was more or less the the intention to sort of show. That's, that's yeah. I mean, to show that one way of looking at it. To yeah. show that like he still has sh some humanity le left in him, and that little push, that was that was the push of like his mother. Of basically p pushing him to light, and the scene where Ray stabs him—that was her dark side, sort of, and her emotions getting the better of him. But, but the second she realizes that he was, he stopped. He stopped attacking, and he chose not to kill her, and attack him and, and, and whatnot, and that she chooses to save him. So that was I think, my I think interpretation. It, yeah, it, it is interpretation. It's definitely interpretation because. I looked again for it today to see whether there was any dialogue giving any kind of an indication of what what it was you know what the intent was behind it, the motivation and there there wasn't any so I, I, again it's, it goes back to that thing of lazy plotting um, but I mean it's good for the fans because at least it gives them something to sort of think about and you know what, and you know what they might their interpretation of it so I didn't um, think it was meaningless personally her death I thought it was quite thematic somewhat. 
And the other problem they had with it was they had very little material left to work with with Carrie Fisher. Could, she'd could died, you tell so. that she was barely in it? Because yeah, I thought it was yeah. really obvious. Uh, the dialogue didn't seem to match with other people's dialogue. It's almost like they'd, they'd written the other character's dialogue mm. around the existing lines that they'd got left. Just with Carrie some Fisher shots. To, yeah. Just some, the way some shots And the way it looked, yeah. You could tell. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the CGI was, was a bit. CGI, I thought, was a bit off on that actually. I thought, I, I thought it was as well. Yeah. I didn't really see that much. much yeah. actually, personally. But, but as I, I watched know. the other two like yesterday and yeah, today. True, so true, I mean, true. I mean, I my own personal view on that is I thought her death was a bit pitiful, but <laughs> that's just me. I mean, we're all entitled to our own uh, opinions. But yeah. Um, and I did think that it was very reminiscent of the way Luke died pitifully in the Last Jedi. Oh well, yes, but that's a bit different. That's different because <laughs> yeah, they yeah. intended to kill him that way. They were stuck with what they've got to work with with Carrie Fisher. Well, I think yeah. if she'd have lived, they would have done something, and they probably would have put the intent behind it in there as well in the dialogue, but they, they they've got what they've got, hadn't they? That so. she had a huge part in the story before. Yeah, yeah but they, before You the, can see yeah, they toned it yeah, back a lot. Yeah, yeah. The thing why I liked is that Le Leia never gave up on hope. Luke did. So her character and everything but else that I thought was still... That wasn't Luke, really, was but it? No, <laughs> I don't. I, that, <laughs> was, that, even, was, that was Ron Johnson. That was Kathleen Kennedy. Said, and, that isn't what... <laughs> And even Mark like, Hamill said, yeah, yeah, exactly. He said, uh, you right. know, I would not have. And I mean, who yeah, knows true. Luke Skywalker better than he does, apart from George Lucas, maybe. But, you know. Um, so, uh, and that was interesting, actually, as well, because I have an interview with J.J. Abrams a year ago where he said they weren't killing Leia off in I, I thought, wow. yeah. I remember that. But well. he does lie about things because he said that's that true, yeah. Benedict Cumberbund, or whatever his name is, wasn't playing Khan in Star Trek yeah, Into Darkness, that's, that's and he was. True, yeah. So he, he <laughs> lies a lot about J.J. Abrams, does so. Yeah. Uh, the other thing was, is for, I, I, on second viewing, I'm pretty much sure he was, is Finn force sensitive because he senses Ray dying at the climax of the film? There's no explanation or dialogue given. Um, I wonder, because he was going to tell her something when he went to sank into the sand, but I wonder whether he was going to tell her whether he did. J.J. Abrams said in an interview yesterday or something that that was what... Ah, oh, it was what it was, in. right. Oh. But why didn't they put it in? I don't know, it's you know, stupid. Editing it's again, yeah. you know, bad editing and, yeah. you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah I completely yeah. agree. I reckon that, like, at the very end, at least, all that suspense, all the build-up, nothing, and then he never says. Yeah. Personally, I, I thought he was going to say... I love you, Ray. But, you know, you know. Okay. Yeah, that upset the Raylo fans. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, upset yeah. Them. True. Uh, I'm sure this video will as well. So <laughs> they just forgot about um, that. Just, they, they, yeah. they just forgot. Speaking of another MacGuffin, Knights of Ren, oh, barely really crap. alluded to in the three films, and then they're there, and then they're gone, and that's it. Um, ben Solo dispatches them, and no real. I mean, again, it's head cannon. You you just surmise that they came out of the when when. Uh, Ben Solo uh, abandoned Luke and all that, and they were the ones that went with him. You know, Most likely, yeah. I don't know. We don't. We don't know. We don't know yeah. for certain. So. They're just. They, they, they could have they, been they, just a normal stormtrooper following them around. They like. could have been heavily trained because they didn't have yeah. lightsabers, did they? Well, no, no. So, they well, didn't well, have the they, force. They didn't seem either. to be using the force. No, so. they were just like. Yeah, it could have been like the um, what do you call them? The um, Praetorian Guard of Snoke. You know, yeah. Oh yeah, the ones messing everything. Yeah, the ones that their fights before they fight. Uh, speaking of big, big MacGuffins, how did Palpatine survive his fall and the destruction of the Death Star and Return of the Jedi? No explanation given, other than the fact that he said, it says in the opening crawl, the late Palpatine, and he said, I died. Um, and then somebody said, oh, he's got Sith technology, could have cloned, you know. But again, no explanation, no dialogue. That, that so should have been said. That's yeah. something that big. It, all should. it needed was just a couple of words. You yeah. Know? yeah. It, it, it yeah. literally could have been something ridiculous, yeah. but... Even if it's something ridiculous, it's better than nothing. It's better yeah, than yeah. nothing. I mean, like, I, I, I wonder like, if they actually oh, they used the force to somehow yeah. tra transfer yeah. souls or something. Yeah. But yeah. something that really bugged me at the very end, right, was a scene where uh, the Emperor says to Rey, "Kill me, and my soul will transfer yeah. to you." <laughs> yeah. And then he just just changes his mind and decides all that big plan I had, you were going to be my vehicle for me being, you know, my soul. Well, I'm going to kill you now because I've healed and I'm going to be able to do also that all the Sith are, with, are inside of him. They're mm. all inside of him. And did you notice how he, he, the voice of Darth Vader was there, but Rey heard the voice of Anakin Skywalker and they're both the same person? Yeah. So, unless you could argue that Darth Vader was, in the, in the Force, Darth Vader was a separate entity. Yeah. Well, I suppose, I mean, 
Well, you know, he, he did die for nothing. He didn't kill yeah, the Emperor. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> right, that's true. He's yeah. good act. He he's good act. I mean, I suppose well, saving, saving Luke. See, my argument. Yeah, saving Luke. My argument is that Palpatine being back completely undermines the redemption story arc of the six films. Yeah. Uh, Anakin through to Luke and then to Anakin at the end, because that 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 final act where he kills Palpatine and redeems himself, it. it well, he, he did it, but Palpatine's still alive. Well, so, he, he saved his you know, son. He saved his son, but... He valued yeah. family and his son more than the dark side and Palpatine. Yeah, but that wasn't the intention. <laughs> well, 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 he, but he, it, he was kind of, it was that act, wasn't yeah, yeah. it? He, he, he thought, right, this, this Sith Lord, powerful Sith Lord, is going to kill my son. And he finally has this realisation, and, and uh, I've got to stop him. The so prophecy, he picks him up, the pro and that's it. It's to bring balance. The prophecy to bring balance the force. But then the first that order act, comes in. That they act break creates, all that. Yeah, well, that yeah, that breaks no, the whole. No more yeah, balance. The prophecy, the, the prophecy doesn't mean anything. So anymore, personally, actually. I don't think that this trilogy needs to exist. But no, it doesn't. Um, it's just sort of fine on the ruins the, the general, prophecy you know, personally. But I mean, some people argue that the prequels shouldn't exist as well. But I, I, I do. They I deserve. They they, yeah. they deserve. Whatever yeah. you think about the prequels being good, or bad, they still. Deserve to exist because the justifications are, are a lot of interesting aspects in the prequel. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a good story, you know, that story of Anakin, how he falls to the dark side. Exactly, and yeah. Revenge of the Sith is, is up there, and, you know, in the my best acting. Two or three, you know, and it's how I mean, he's fall. You could argue that it doesn't need to exist. But, no, you know, but it's you know, it's extra stuff that. Is yeah, 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 yeah. I, I yeah, learned definitely. that Anakin doesn't like sand. <laughs> it's gritty. It gets everywhere. It gets, it gets everywhere. everywhere. Yeah, it, it, does, it does like sand. <laughs> mm. uh, any thoughts on all those Sith worshippers in the stadium? Where did all they come from? <laughs> Who knows? Were they Sith or were they just no, Sith? I'm no, assuming they weren't Sith. Uh, another one is, when did Palpatine have time to have a son and a family? No explanation. Were they clones? Oh, were they oh. real family? Were they? Did he do like a force job on them like he did with um, uh, Shmi Skywalker and sneak in there with his powers in the night? <laughs> if that is the case, right, and Palpatine creates Anakin, okay. They are that related. Means, they're related. They're related. Yeah, they are related, yeah. I was reading that Darth Plagueis created Anakin. Uh, no, it's. Um, I don't know what what canon I was reading, but it's just fifty million apparently. No, um, Plagueis had the knowledge of how to do that, right? And uh, um, Sidious learnt it, and Sidious created. Um, Sidious. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 Because so, the that, Emperor that kills Pla 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 Plagueis. So actually, that's true. Then they are yeah. they are related. Wow. Sure, yeah. Wow. So that kiss. The big moment of the scene. Well, it's like Luke yeah. and Leia kissing in. Episode four, isn't it? And episode five, and <laughs> so they find out they're related. I, I, I'm assuming that's how they can do their Skype calls. That could their, be their actually that. Uh, you know, if you wanted to, but if you wanted to justify and try to make this plot more <laughs> better than it is, such as it is, you could argue that, that that's the reason why that they it's that the emergence of the Force because they said that about and they said there's been a emergence in the Force, you know, back in the original um, films. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, we covered the bit of uh, one minute Palpatine wants to Rey to kill him and then he changes his mind, so we covered that pretty much. Regardless um, of that, the fact that she does kill him and when she kills him, his soul doesn't go into her. Personally, she's dead though. Well, maybe. I mean, I, I, I expected the play out like Rey dies, Kylo Ren goes to the resistance, Kylo Ren sort of like p pushes on that like as a good guy now, r r r redeemed. You, you're expecting far too much from JJ Abrams and Disney, you really are. <laughs> was the soul to transfer over, and then Ben to just kill Rey as like yeah. Emperor Rey. Mm. That would have been better, really. That would have been, yeah, yeah, it, it would, would have been yeah, yeah. emotional, right, yeah. Because obviously, um, Rey redeemed him, uh, um, sorry, Rey, Kylo Ren redeemed himself. Here's an interesting one for you, Kylo Ren redeemed. A mass murderer killed his dad, tried to kill his mom, one conversation with the hallucination of his dad, and he comes good. He even gets the girl at the end. Nice, wholesome value, family values from Disney. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's, it's there. Wow. It's there. I didn't like Did Darth Vader redeem himself. Redeem himself? I, 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 I think he did. Well, I mean, he died immediately after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, but so, he didn't have so, a chance to kill. He had so one Kylo conversation Ren. with his Sorry. son while he was dying, and that was ben, it. Ben also died. He sacrificed himself for the good. He literally took his own life, knowing very well that that resurrecting the dead, there's no way around it. You will die, and he did that regardless. I think that that if you're willing to sacrifice your life for the greater good, 
then yes, you are redeemed. I mean, that is the beauty of all this kind of thing, the discussion that certainly I've learned from, um, you know, the sort of stuff that I've seen going on on YouTube and all that is, the, you know, contrary to what um, the extremist people out there about Star Wars might think, um, you know, you, you can have a difference of opinion on these things, you know, it doesn't have to be a battle and, you know, you extremist, you hateful, misogynist male you or whatever, you know. Oh, I know how after he became Ben, he like barely spoke at all. He didn't have a lot of dialogue, did he? After did that? He? I can't, after did, the thing with Han Solo, actually, I don't he? think he spoke really. I, don't I think. can't remember now whether he did I speak. I don't remember him speaking after. I mean, I might be wrong. I, I I didn't recall much about yeah, him. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. Considering for me, he was my he was my highlight of the. Of the, of the Did you notice movie. that uh, Palpatine's clothes changed as well when he rejuvenated with the Force no, energy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he took the energy out of Ray, and wow. he, all of a sudden he had like a burgundy uh, thing underneath his cloak that wasn't wasn't there before. Uh, who was Snoke? But it did seem to be answered because you saw him in some tanks as clones at the beginning of the film. So I'm assuming that Palpatine yeah, I would imagine so. cloned him. But we still don't really know why. It wasn't in the dialogue. It was just sort of there in the background. <laughs> I reckon. I reckon the whole purpose for him existing is literally some form of deterrent or something. Something to sort of like um, hide. So so Palpatine can hide while they're fighting this this sort of like pretend villain or. Uh, they didn't anticipate yeah, that they were yeah, stupid well, enough yeah, to no, kill Snook off. Yeah. <laughs> but they, I mean, it's pretty obvious that they weren't bringing uh, Palpatine yeah. back because Colin Trevorrow, who was do originally directing episode three, uh, episode nine, sorry, he said that Palpatine wasn't um, coming back. He was dead. Well, so, and Ian McDermott had said he had a conversation with George Lucas, and George Lucas said, "Yeah, Palpatine's dead." Yeah. Well, wow. wow. He wow. said that J.J. Abrams sent him an email like a year ago saying, "Do you want to come back and play Do the Emperor?" Yeah, so yeah. it clearly so, wasn't planned. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> wasn't planned. Yeah, I think Snoke was probably there for the duration yeah. until Ryan Johnson did what he did, or maybe they were planning on it going that direction that either Ray or or Kylo Ren was going to be the ultimate bad for the last film, you know, and not not Palpatine, you know. So I mean, it could it could have been Ray, but I don't think. The whole. I don't think Disney would have done that first. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't think Disney would have done that. No. Although I, I did, I, I did like uh, the, the the foreshadowing. I mean, I mean, she very, she very well could have, she could have, but you know, mm. we saw her as how a, it goes really. in that hallucination, didn't we? But, of, uh, but like, Sith. like I was saying earlier on, the whole the whole point of accepting yourself, who you are, regardless of your bloodline, and what Luke says. Near the like, midway point of of there's something stronger than than your bloodline, right? Yeah. At the very end, she, I, I, yeah. I, I am a Skywalker. Oh, Skywalker. She she she's should have said, yeah. "I'm a Jedi," yeah. or "I'm Ray Palpatine." Yeah, yeah. and that's, that's interesting actually because Disney are big on um, affirmation of female roles in films. Uh, you would want them to, you know, they like Except this idea of embracing who, who you are. are. Yeah. yeah, and but she doesn't at the end. Well, she kind of does in terms of. What's happened? But to say, oh, I'm, I'm a Skywalker. That's you're not a Skywalker. You're, you're delusional. But then people out there would argue, well, you can choose it's to be ideology. whoever you want to be. That's what. Well, that's the real strength of your individualism. You follow the ideology. <laughs> you're not the, yeah, not the ideology you're not, yeah, yeah, yeah. of the Skywalker. You're passing yeah. down what they believe, and you're fighting for them. But well, that doesn't make you. No, it doesn't. Make you, you, a you accept Skywalker, yourself no. as as a Palpatine. Mm. Because that's who you are, and that was the point of the movie in a lot of aspects. So a lot of what. Luke's dialogue was literally her accept the entire movie was her accepting herself once she finds out and then accepting that like she's not evil. So she just that that that's just disregarded. Yep. Yep. Honestly. We'll I'm, move it on a little bit anyway. Uh, a yeah. couple of other little things. Hooks. I didn't think he was actually used that much in the film. And we were saying that we I thought I thought it was a swipe at the Disney insiders who leaked all that information about it because he was the leak and the spy and the guy. <laughs> so you were the leak, bang. <laughs> the Disney leaks, the Disney spies. Uh, did you notice as well that and I think this is just a JJ thing of all this'll look cool. Uh, three TIE fighters towing the Millennium Falcon with cables and yet trapped oh, yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. trapped to beams exist in the Star Wars yeah, universe. So I noticed that, yeah. why did he you know, it's just something that looks cool, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, why didn't Kylo Ren drown during the water fight when that big wave went over him? But you know that's neither here nor there. It's just uh, um, yeah. So um, I didn't notice an awful lot of bashing of the old stuff. I, I, I still think that that you know 
the way Luke, Leia, and all the Han and all that were treated, you know, there wasn't an awful lot of R2D2 in the film actually. I mean, not really much there in any of the three films. So I don't feel um, like he was there. At yeah, C3PO I mean, got more screen time this yeah. time round, but um, don't know why he was there. He was just there. Yeah. Well, no. To be fair, he he, he did have some purpose in it. Yeah. He did yeah, have yeah, some yeah, purpose yeah, actually. Yeah. Uh, the symbolic start. destruction of Darth Vader's helmet on that plinth as well, because he actually looks a bit like Darth Vader when they both whack their lightsabers. Kind of like. And I thought I I looked at that as being like a get rid of it sort of thing, you know. Mm. It's a typically Disney thing that is. So yeah, but the shippers they're going to love this one. The Raylos that you know they're going to they're going to love this one. But uh, you'll know this one. I don't know whether you will or not. But um, the death scene, the last scene, is a complete rip off of Babylon Five. Mm, yeah. uh, you know Ivanova when yeah, she's yeah. resuscitated by um, Marcus the Ranger, mm. it's beat for beat, it's the same. And really? and JJ Abrams is a, is a big fan of Babylon Five as well, and he's going to work for Warner Brothers now. who owns Babylon oh. Five, so uh, <laughs> expect that remake. <laughs> what did probably. you think of the kiss, though? Did you think like, because I and I heard some people in some cinemas laughed. And then laughed when he died. After yeah, that. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> yeah, kind of neither here nor there about it because I I haven't got that. I haven't got that investment in these films. It that, just seemed that, that, a bit you know, like abrupt and like they've never really showed that much love for each other. Or anything. I know that I know the shippers were like, oh, yeah. you know, when she looks at him when he got his shirt off in the Last Jedi. Oh, oh stop! I know <laughs> the shippers, and I've seen some <laughs> right de deviant <laughs> fan art out there. I really have. He really. Reflexing. <laughs> wow. not, not looking for it, by the way. I was happy to. I watched a, a stream with um, live stream with uh, Geeks and Gamers I think it was, shout out to them as well and um, I'm sure, pretty sure it was either World Class Bullshitters or um, Geeks and Gamers uh, both excellent channels by the way and um, and they pulled up some fan art oh, <laughs> my yeah, god was, <laughs> was, was, was <laughs> yeah, he no, fake? once you've seen that you can't want to see it <laughs> you really can't <laughs> um, yeah so as for the whole sort of SJW identity politics stuff that's in the films. I did pick up on a few things. The droid that was mistreated and enslaved, I the, the hair dryer lamp shaped droid thing, I can't remember what his name Dio. was, Dio or whatever, yeah. Uh, more equal rights for droids like in Solo. Uh, hashtag Solo lost money by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, the man bashing is pretty prominent in the film, mostly Finn and Poe. Um, there's a couple of jabs at men and sort of thing. I remember you know, a scene actually, the scene <coughs> where, where Rose says, well, can you, can, you, can you please be a little bit more optimistic? Yeah, and yeah. he's like, oh yeah, everything's yeah. great. I thought, I thought that, fairness, oh, yeah, that was a little bit... In fairness, it wasn't as bad bit, as The Last Jedi, though. A little oh, bit yeah, of man bashing there, but Jedi, whatever. Yeah. Um, there was a, a lesbian kiss. I think I saw another one as was well, there? but there was a lesbian kiss at the when end of the film in the background. Back at the end yeah. and they're all cheering. Um, LGBT stuff is, is officially <laughs> canon in the, in the Star Wars universe now. Uh, so, yeah. Apparently there was another... another. Couple of chaps. I don't know. I didn't see it. So, I only uh, noticed. Yeah, I noticed something. Anyway. Yeah, she was uh, the assistant to Admiral Holder, weren't she? In the in the last yes. Jedi. The, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought I recognised her. Yeah. Uh, the female Jedi's are key Jedi's in the films. Leia, Leia obviously, and Ray. Leia's referred to as being an incredible person and being powerful as well. Um, Ray channels all of the Jedi in the climax of the film. So there's a bit of sort of um, you know girl power type thing going on there. Um, I mentioned about that line of dialogue with the Power Ranger bounty hunter girl there. I, not that I care, but I think you're okay. And Ray replies, uh, I care. Empathetic and comp compassionate, yeah. Um, I did, well, the first viewing of it, I misunderstood something because I thought Ray held up the dagger at one point and said horrible things. And I thought that was like a political statement about knives, but she actually said um, horrible things that this this has done or something. Yeah, yeah that she effect, so I don't stuff, think yeah. that was what it was. But. Um, I did notice <laughs> yours is bigger than mine. Uh, Ray igniting a lightsaber, and then Poe turns on the torch. Right. Goes like that. A little like innuendo. Yeah, bit of an innuendo there. Yeah. Know, yeah, true, yeah. True, true, true. They got to have some events. So, yeah. they? Some allusions to racial equality in the film as well, which is fair enough. You know, it's it's. I mean, you know, I've got nothing against it whatsoever. Um, not in the least bit racist person or anything like that. But um, it's just the way it's done. You know especially with Disney. Uh, Finn is a black guy um, and he was a slave as a stormtrooper and then he meets up with that, uh, that black woman as her name I can't remember was it 
John, 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 she was a stormtrooper, so she was a slave as well, and freed herself like he did, and they pair up in the film, and they're both black. I wish so, that was, you know, so like, they went into that a bit more. But, uh, yeah, true, yeah, quite yeah, an story, yeah, yeah, I mean. yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was some, you know, I mean, again, it's the way these things get handled by people like J.J. Abrams and Disney, but, you know, there's, there, there's something good behind that, yeah, they could have yeah. done something really good, yeah. Um, I think Ray was a bit less of a Mary Sue in this film, a bit more flawed and vulnerable, it made her a bit more human than the other than the other films, um, but she's still uber powerful, pulling spacecraft out of the sky, and force healing, force teleportation, force lightning, um, but it is implied in the film that that is because it's a combined effect via Kylo Ren and her. It's like a force dyad or something, a convergence yeah. of the two. I, I so I, has I she think... got that ability on her own without Kylo Ren? Or I didn't really. Again, there's no dialogue in the film, so there's nothing to confirm it one way or the other. So it's all interpretation, isn't it? I thought the lightning was just foreshadowing for her being past the yeah, 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 yeah. So I've sort of leaned the dark side. She's getting angry, stressed out, and then she uses the lightning. By accident, I, I, I or that could be just everyone has darkness in them, and showing her like getting too overwhelmed with emotion that she most likely yeah, just because taps into it and shoots. Anakin like, was a Jedi, yeah. you know, but he started to manifest vague sort of Sith yeah. abilities before he became. Um, uh, and certainly, he went out and killed all the um, uh, the Sand People, didn't he? And yeah. uh, Attack of the Clones and all that, and yeah, yeah. So uh, I think we'll shift it on a little bit. Anybody got any any thoughts about the sort of the way it was directed and any good points and bad points? I know it's J.J. Abrams, so I mean personally I thought it was all over the place. It was frenetic and like an acid dream at times. Felt like a lot of, there was a lot of plot points that didn't really get expanded on. Mm. For one, um, such as Poe's friend, uh, girlfriend, if you could say so. I don't know. Um, there was that that black woman who was who, who befriended Finn. That we just discussed. Um, anything else? Uh, really, plot points that just weren't really expanded on. How uh, everyone can suddenly use this force. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another plot point that yeah, wasn't yeah. expanded on. Mm. That's it's JJ Abrams though. I'm afraid Disney as well. Kathleen Kennedy, you know. But and of course, you know, people will argue that's what. Ryan Johnson made, and that's what J.J. Abrams had left to deal with, you know. But, he did have. Uh, but you look at his films, and they're, they're, it's sort of typically him anyway, so you can't blame that on Ryan Johnson, you know. It's, he did do quite a good job with what he was like. He did a better job than I thought he would, oh, yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's not that, I'm damning that with fake praise though, I mean, it doesn't mean to say it's a, a magnificent film or anything, <laughs> far from it. Um, I actually thought the film was very badly edited as well. It seemed jarring at times. It jumped all over the place. And the first yeah. act was like really yeah. all over the place yeah. a lot. It's a bit like um, the the non Kubrick edited version of Eyes Wide Shut, wasn't it? Uh, you know how they talk about somebody seen. else editing. I don't think you've seen that Eyes Wide Shut. Yeah, Kubrick's. Is it uh, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Secret Societies and all that. Yeah, um, that was edited after his death, and people have said, you know, there's what I call it is editing to hide things. Yeah. And that's a film, and I think this was not for nefarious reasons like Eyes Wide Shut was, but this is like edited to hide the plot holes, <laughs> you know, throw loads of stuff on screen and make it look really fast and yeah, all this kind of thing. And then you won't, Jedi, you won't um, have time to think about what's, yeah, 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 that, yeah. The, the throne room yeah. scene. I, I originally thought that was a good scene, uh, I um, only recently realised that I was tricked. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, s I sent you yeah, that video last week. Yeah, <laughs> by having flashy imagery and pushed. Poor, poor directing, really. Mm -hmm. There was some uh, epilepsy warnings, wasn't there, for the, for the film, apparently, I think. Yeah, the, really? Yeah. One thing I noticed, that when, um, when they're fighting on the Death Star, did you think their lightsaber fight felt a little bit too long at one point? Because they normally cut other stuff in between, but they didn't at all for this one. Yeah, it, you, yeah actually, it, you're right, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I struggled a bit with the lightsaber fights anyway, because I couldn't, there was times when I couldn't tell where they were when they were fighting, because you know, obviously they were fighting through yeah. the force, weren't they, at times? So it was a bit, I kind of got the gist that um, at that set, Ray was in uh, Kylo's quarters on the Star Destroyer and he was down. But, I mean, we said, didn't we? I, he I didn't grabbed, like all, that the, scene, he grabbed all of her necklace, why didn't he just grab all of her and pull her through the force, you know? Yeah, yeah, didn't, he true. wouldn't know where she was then, you know? So, again, plot hole, but. I did, I did like the fight when it both, when it's switching between where they are. Mm -hmm. I thought that looked quite good. It, it was, yeah, yeah, it was shot well actually. Yeah, yeah, it was shot quite well. That was yeah. Um, anything um, that we, yeah, other things that we liked 
I mean, I thought there was a few funny bits in the film, actually. I, I laughed a couple of times. I mean, not belly laugh, but I did. I mean, I didn't... I, I mean, I went out feeling nauseous from The Last Jedi, so... And, and swore never to watch it again, even though I have had it inflicted on me a couple more times, but... Um, I thought there was some good stuff. Yeah, it was a couple of good... To, I didn't um, find, I didn't really find any of it funny. No. Because it, it was kind of like Avengers level humour. Yeah. And I've watched yeah. them. A I mean, lot, I, so I think it was Dominic Monaghan who went and gave that big giant slug thing a hug when they landed yeah. on the planet. Yeah, things like that that just made me smirk. Did, and did you notice it, yeah. the, the Endgame kind of bits that were very similar to Endgame? Yeah. I yeah. mean, this is going to spoil Endgame. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> most people will have seen it. By if now. you haven't seen it by now. <laughs> yeah. But the bit where it's like, we just I am Iron Man and then dies. Mm -hmm. She says, like, I am all the Jedi, and yeah. then dies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's Guardians of the Galaxy, isn't it? Wait, when, they, when they all merge, they use their... their yeah, their, their, but um... that specific line... Oh, yeah, yeah, that was... It that felt was, like yeah, a very it's specific... It's sort of contrasting yeah. as when Thanos says, I am inevitable, then Iron Man says, I am Iron Man. It's sort of the same sort of thing, it's, I am all the Jedi. I am all, I am I am all, all the Sith. Sith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Bray's like, no, yeah. I am all the Jedi. Die! But, but I, I mean, I tend to think the things like flying stormtroopers is not to... You know, I and mean, that's kind of that thing, isn't it, with the Avengers as well, isn't it? It's more sort of frenetic sort of things, yeah. things going on all over the place. And it feels like, like so, they yeah. tried to go for a very much Avengers feel. Yeah, yeah. I, I and know, it's I'm interesting like. because I, 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 uh, Kevin Feige apparently is supposed to be—I don't know if he's directing or producing one of the upcoming future Star Wars films, and he's like the head on to with uh, Marvel, isn't he? So yeah. So yeah, and John Favreau is doing the, the Mandalorian at the moment. He did um, Iron Man, one of the Iron Mans. Yeah. Directed one of the Iron Man's. Yeah. 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 So I thought the music was good as well, but John Williams is always brilliant. His Star Wars scores are brilliant. Yeah, really good. I thought that was really. I don't. Good. I can't really remember any songs that weren't ones that were brought back from other films. Like there's not one that I remember in my head. Like that was a really good new Didn't song. Didn't Leia's theme and Palpatine's theme and but they Luke's knew theme. They were all. They were like variations of it, but they were the, the same melody. Yeah, they were the same. I, I just arrangement. Like, I can't remember any completely new original ones. Uh, that really stood out. It was like, wow, that, this is really good. You see, good. that is the problem with those. With the, again, with the Disney Star Wars, is they they tend to be sort of very generic. So yeah. they don't they don't lot lot jewel the faints. Yeah, nothing it's like just, that. It's all. there, isn't it? Yeah. It'll whack you over the head and get your attention. But no, nothing really. No, nothing really stood out like that for me. So yeah, I thought Ian McDermott was good, but Ian then he always he is. is yeah. Palpatine. Yeah, uh, I like Billy D. Williams in it as well. Yeah, I think he did a bit. It wasn't in it a great deal, but he did a nice good job. Nice to see him back. Yeah, nice to see him back as Lando. Yeah, and we said about Harrison Ford. I thought he did a, you know, yeah. a couple of minutes he was in it. Yeah, I thought he did a great job. So, yeah, um, I was going to say something about space horses um, riding across the top of the stars, destroying that, but but because originally they were saying, oh, they were in space. Why they got spacesuits on? What happened? Atmospheric pressure. Blah blah blah. They kind of smudged that by saying, well, they were in the atmosphere, but even if you were at altitude still in the atmosphere, you'd be, they'd be like, you'd be freezing cold. And, and yeah, I think high, were they? I mean, like, right. they, were, they, they were, were fairly quite, high. They were quite, I mean, even on Earth, you know, if you go up to certain altitudes, it's freezing cold, you need thick layers yeah, on Yeah, yeah, but wasn't the fleet, like, relatively... No, that, like, that was the main Star Destroyer that was above the others. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah. So wow. Quite, they were quite high up. The one yeah. that they were all following. I mean, you go up to the top of mountains, as well. Yeah, yeah. You've got, like, good gale force wind and stuff like that. Oh, well, yeah, you, you're still going to breathe as well. Yeah, yeah, you're still going to breathe, yeah. Well, actually, so, yeah. That, that planet didn't have any, like, um, trees, so... How was the oxygen? No, I didn't see any sort of how, landscape. How was the oxygen um, provided? Sci-fi. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because <Sure>. because <laughs> it's Disney and it's Star Wars. Um, one of the things that I was disappointed with was... Um, oh, yeah. Did you realise, and, and I've looked, and they're very, very similar, and I think they might be the same. The horses have made an appearance in Star Wars before, in okay. Return of the Jedi. Oh. Chewie goes to eat that dead animal and the neck oh, goes up. It's yeah. one of the it's the oh, head yeah. of one of those horses. Alright. Oh, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I personally try to forget <laughs> everything from yeah. the last yeah. Jedi, but yeah. that's no, no, just no, return, no, return of the Jedi. You know, oh return of the Jedi. Yeah, oh, Leia yeah, 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 and, yeah. and Solo and C three PO they're in that net, the the Ewok net. Oh okay. And that, he, he says it oh it's to and and says oh it's just a dead animal and that's fair. It's one of the one of the horses. For a second I thought you said the last Jedi was like no you don't Please, uh, speaking of Ewoks, um, one of the, the things I was service, really yeah, yeah. disappointed with that was that Palpatine wasn't on Endor because then I could have seen his army of D 
demon zombie waxel worship <laughs> instead of the Sith. I wanted to see that so much. I mean, everyone's like, oh yeah, demon Ewoks, <laughs> zombie Ewoks, dead Ewoks, <laughs> cannibal Ewoks, you know, all worshiping Palpatine. But no, so we didn't, we didn't get that. So um, yeah, so I was disappointed in that. And I do think that Disney will at some point in the future re-edit Return of the Jedi so that you can hear him saying something like, I will return! Uh, as he's falling down the shaft or something like that, yeah. George surprising. Lucas re-edited them, didn't he? And, oh my god, so yeah. many times. <laughs> yeah. Greedo shot first and all that. And <laughs> yeah. Too many edits. Yeah. So that's that's where I am with any. Anybody else got anything that they want to say before we put this one to bed and rank it and... Yeah. Not, not particularly. <laughs> no. We've covered quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, what about if we go for out of ten first? Should I, should I begin? <laughs> you can if you want. Well, I mean, personally, it's tough. It's tough. Probably a seven. Really? So wow. a six to a seven. Well, okay. no, that's, if that's I think fine, about yeah. it, I, 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 enjoyment value. I never got bored. I enjoyed Kylo Ren's uh, plot uh, in, in, in his character, every redemption arc. I enjoyed so, the somewhat justifications of the movies, right? Uh, it's not great. Like when Luke says, I was wrong, that sort of says, well. Covering their backs a little bit. They're covering their backs <laughs> with the fans, yeah. They're trying to say, well, look, we're, we're trying to be seen to be putting things right. Yeah. Because yeah. they know what the fan. That's what started the fandom menace online community, you know, the, the Last Jedi. I know you could argue that Gamergate and Ghostbusters 2016 and stuff like that, but that what that solidified it. That and Game of Thrones season eight, you know, that was what really. I want to give it yeah, yeah. six point five to a seven. Okay, it's it's quite generous considering. I'm very that generous. There are a lot of plot <laughs> no, holes in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are a lot of plot holes in the movie. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. I okay. I tend to rate kind of more towards enjoyment than the quality because I'm bad at. <laughs> yeah, I think you kind of have to go with that, don't you, to but some degree. You know? I think, uh, okay, it might change because when I watched The Last Jedi, I was like, yeah, it was alright. Mm -hmm. And then after time, I'm like, oh god, that was awful. But I'd probably give it about a 6.5 as well. 6.5? Yeah. What, are you going to give it a wow. 3? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I didn't get, you've already said, given. I didn't opinion. get bored. Yeah, yeah, so, same, same. You, yeah. You, you've already give, you, given your, your rankings of the, all the movies. Yeah, I mean, I. I'm biased by the fact that I, 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 I don't like what they've done with the Disney trilogy. I'm also doubly biased because of what I know about Disney and J.J. Abrams, which, like I say, I'll go into that in another video. Which is, <coughs> it's, it's very difficult for me to sit down and watch a film made by him without being... But I really did try, like you, I tried to sort of switch that off, go back to my mentality of ten years ago when I was not thinking the way I do now and I was just, you know, Star Wars, did I, did I like it or not? Um, I'm going to give it a four. Wow, well, fair man, fair, fair. There are it a lot of issues with it. better than The Last Jedi. What do you give The Last Jedi then? I'd give that a two. two. One, yeah, two. It probably is wow. about a two. Yeah. And that's only based on things like the aesthetic of the film with the red. The look, the music. Yeah, the, it's yeah, not the, much going for Last Jedi at all. It really isn't. The so. aesthetics and the um, budget were very high in it, but that's basically all that it has, really. <laughs> I, it was a toss-up between three or four, but I th yeah, I think I'd be a bit being a bit unfair on it if I said three, because it's got a lot going for it. I do, I did think that um, um, Kylo and, and Kylo Ren and Ray was served a lot better in it. They didn't. I know they had to do what they had to do with Carrie Fisher because Carrie Fisher's death, but. Um, you know, I really thought they were going to kill off Chewie, C-3PO, Lando, blah blah, blow up the Millennium Falcon, da 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 da. Massive plot hole. Yeah. Chewie um, but they didn't, they didn't do that in fairness. They and so, you know, if they are trying, they've got a long, long way to go to win me back. They really have. In fact, it probably won't happen. But, you know, they tried and I'll give them credit for that. And it's not an awful film. So, you know, yeah. I mean, I, I could watch it again. Like, yeah, yeah, well, I have. Yeah. I mean, I've watched well, yeah. it twice now, and yeah, and it, it didn't bore me. And normally, no, no, I, I lose interest sometimes if I'm not. But it didn't. You know, I was. It got my attention all the way through on both occasions. So this know. trilogy doesn't need to exist, and that's its biggest issue, biggest flaw. It doesn't need to exist. It was a cash grab. They yeah. got. They wanted yeah. the property from from Lucas. It was a. It was just something they could cash in. The same as when they brought Marvel years ago, and uh, and whereas they where they succeeded with Marvel, they've. 
they failed miserably with um, Star Wars. But yeah, yeah, defensive rating, 6.5 out of 10. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. 6.5. Do we want to, uh, I mean, it might be a bit redundant given that um, we've given our sort of score out of 10, but do we want to kind of place it in our ranking of the 9? We'll leave, we'll leave Solo and Rogue One out. But you haven't seen those two. So. I haven't seen those two, no. Yeah, so do you want to... Uh, um... Personally, I preferred <coughs> it over <sighs> Phantom Menace, Clones. I preferred it over Seven and Eight. Personally, so wherever, well, that's, that's wherever that goes, honestly, <laughs> wherever that goes, yeah. Yeah. I actually really, I actually kind of enjoyed so it. So it's not you know you don't think it's, you don't think it's as good as the like four, five, six, the original trilogy. Then. No, no, it's, it, no, no one here. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the 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 original trilogy will always be the the pinnacle and the magnum opus of the saga. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you, you can't you can't you can't say otherwise. I'm sorry. Well, you, you can't yeah, say I think we're all kind of. <laughs> but in the same I, I, I actually, it's I, more a case of where it will be positioned in our nine rather than we. I think we can all agree on that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. I, I I did think was better than this movie. Honestly, one of the one of the better yeah, prequels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the the turn in that was way better than the turn in this. Yes, mm. yes. Yeah. Yeah. And interestingly, actually, because they talk about like these abilities, that there is a kind of a foreshadowing <coughs> of it. And even with somebody you could argue that hasn't got the force, is that there's that scene right at the centre point of um, of Revenge of the Sith, where Anakin's looking across the skyline of yeah. Coruscant, to, and she's looking back, and that's almost like a the, the force communication yeah. thing that that, that, that Ray and um, all I wanted was was Finn to just say what he was gonna say. He <laughs> <laughs> would not say. They should have shot him. They should have shot him. It seems like they just sort of forgot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's literally he's, he's, <laughs> Poe's like, yeah, you, you're gonna die now. He's like, but that's interesting. You saying that because they, I, I, they really, really underserved the original trilogy characters, <coughs> bringing them back as they did. You know, to do Han in that, and then it was gonna be Luke, then it was gonna be Leia. They should have been all on screen together. That was what the you know the hardcore and there's a massive whatever Disney and all the new generation of Star Wars fans might think <coughs> that 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 Star Wars base it might not be what Disney wants, but it's still there. It still exists. They still buy the, they buy the merchandise. It's still a fan base. It could make them a lot of money still. Um, it wouldn't have took much just to put them three on screen together, would it? <laughs> you know, let's face it. You know, just at the end of the Force Awakens or whatever. You know. Um, um, Kind of lost my train of thought now. What I was going to say, really, but yeah, yeah, that that has been. They, and they and I even feel like they 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 touted these characters as being the big B with all of, of these three films, but they even underserved the, the, those characters in this film, Finn and Poe. They yeah. re, they really didn't, you know. Well, considering they become the generals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It it really was, um, Ray and Kylo. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I actually I actually really like Poe and Finn. They probably should have gotten more. I mean, that's not. I mean, I, you know, the characters are fine to me, you yeah. know, and I would have liked to have seen more, but I just don't feel that they Finch really. Should have been the main character. Yeah, I, 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 I do actually. I think Finch yeah, they should have gone that route in the Force <laughs> Awakens. Yeah, they should have made him the more. Yeah. They're gonna make more definitely. Just I think they're done the with the Skywalker story. I don't think they're, they're going to. I mean, when you never say never. I mean, a lot of people believe that they're going to remake the original trilogy in Disney World. I mean, I can well, see that happening. But it seems like they're going to do a spin-off with uh, Lando and that. Oh, they? Like, well, it, it looked like oh, they right. teased it right. by saying, oh, we'll yeah. go find out then. Because they were going to do a sequel of um, Solo, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, hashtag Solo Lost Money. Um, I wish to make sure we say that. <laughs> um, yeah, but that, obviously, it, hashtag Solo Lost Money. Um, so they didn't make a sequel to it, did they? So it kind of killed that off. Yeah. off because hashtag Solo Lost Money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean the biggest. I mean, I'd love to see Billy William, Billy D. Williams, but I mean he's getting on. I mean he's yeah. like ninety, yeah, isn't he? Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they've done it with Patrick Stewart with Picard, haven't they? So he, you yeah. know, yeah, never say never, I suppose. So. Yeah. yeah. So uh, ranking for you in um, the nine? Of course, it's better than eight. I yeah. mean, yeah, eight <laughs> hey, honestly the worst. <laughs> it is. It's yeah, 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 yeah. I honestly believe, believe the Phantom Menace and Clones is better than it. On, on, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. honestly, episode A is a disgrace. <laughs> I will, I will honestly applaud them if they make a film worse. <laughs> 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 that offends oh, me more and angers me more. It would be remarkable. 
But anyway, yeah. So it's yeah, obviously yeah. nine's obviously better than eight. Yeah. But it's pr probably better than one and two. I was, you think? I think nine is better than one and two. Think, maybe. Okay. okay. I mean, yeah, that's fine. You know, it's been less than twenty-four hours, so it yeah, might, yeah, it yeah, might yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, I when I watched. Um, um, the Last Jedi the first time I thought what the fuck have I just watched and then when I watched it the second time I thought yeah that really was terrible that really was bad sorry yeah, go I, I, I really I think it probably sits about the same as 7 for me mm. like I can't okay. really yeah pro so yeah. Yeah, yeah and obviously the rest of it yeah uh, yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah 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 okay <laughs> I've got a bit more a love of the prequels, um, so they they play some. For me, depending on what day, or what mood I'm in. I mean, Empire Strikes Back will always be my favourite, and depending on what mood I'm in, it's either Revenge of the Sith or Episode Four. New Hope is my second, and I, it's usually Revenge of the Sith. But and then I put sort of Return of the Jedi, but like just below that. Yeah. Then I like uh, Phantom Menace. Then it's Attack of the Clones. Yeah. Then it's The Force Awakens. Then it's Episode Nine. Then it's The Last Jedi. Do you put it just my, the... my dead last are all yeah. the Disney trilogy? Yeah. I do think I do think the prequels are better. I do think the prequels are better. Yeah. They honour the fans more. The better they stories. They deserve to exist definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And the George George Lucas's vision, albeit you know, I mean that people argue that's one of the reasons why they don't like <coughs> prequels because they're too intensely George. You didn't have Gary Kurtz and people like that who were involved in the you know. Um, but it's it's second to last for me. It's I think I do think the Force Awakens is better than than Episode Nine, but nothing can be worse than um, the last year. No, 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 unless I'm having a fevered nightmare, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, okay then. Yeah. Right then, with that, I think we'll wrap things up. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, uh, like the video if you can, um, share it about if you can, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to click the bell icon uh, so you receive notifications of new content, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. Cheers.